ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೇವಚ ಪತಿತಾನಂ ಪಾಪುನಿಭ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತ್ಗಿರಿಂ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾ ವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ಯ ಧೈಯ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೀತಾಹಂ ಪುನುತಪಾಲುಹಮದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಂಗತ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೀ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವೇಶಾಂಬರೌ ಬಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಹತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಭೀ ತ್ವಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
जेवामयीशे कि तसौ हृदार्थ जौने शुदेहांतरवातिकेश गेहे सुजायात्मजराति मत्सु नौप्रीतिजुक्ता जवदार्था स्वलोके जेवामयीशे कि तसौ हृदार्थ जौने शुदेहांतरवातिकेश गेहे सुजायात्मजराति मत्सु नौप्रीतिजुक्ता यवदार्था श्लोके गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशीला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पहुपा परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल बॉन्डेड सोल कैन नॉट सी देयर ओन फॉल्ट बॉन्डेड सोल ऑलवेज लाइक टू फाइंड फॉल्ट विद आदर्स गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल इट इज द नेचर ऑफ बॉन्डेड सोल टू फाइंड फॉल्ट विथ आदर्स दे कैन नॉट फाइंड विथ फॉल्ट विथ देम सेल्फ दैट्स वाई दे कैन नेवर रेक्टिफाई देम सेल्फ दे कैन नेवर गो टू भगवान दे कैन नेवर गेट भक्ति दे कैन नेवर गो टू भगवान because they are busy to find fault with others it is the nature of bonded soul i have countless fault inside myself but i cannot see that is the main problem so somebody i need who can point out like guru vishnu bonded soul cannot find fault of each other one bonded soul cannot find fault with them another bonded soul can find this is not good but somebody should be there who is guru vaishnav they are pure they have no defects in their life so they can point out out of their love affection my son if you are ready to rectify yourself then i can help you because after rectification you can go to bhagwan Before that, you cannot reach Bhagwan. With defective mood, all anartha, all defects, how I can go to Bhagwan? Bhagwan is stayed in such a realm where this kind of material things are not allowed. This kind of material things are not allowed there. How we can go there? Big problem. Many times, Papa used to say, "Parashabha karmani na prasanshed na karhe." पर स्वभाव कर्मानी न प्रशंसत नगर है विश्व में एकात्मगम पश्य न प्रकृति पुरुष है न फॉर बॉन्डेड सोल्स इट वॉज द स्टैंडिंग एडवाइज ऑफ प्रभुपात दैट डोंट ट्राई टू फंड फाइंड फॉल्ट विथ पर स्वभाव कर्मानी आई मीन समी दे मे बी ही हैज सम और सी हैज सम डिफेक्ट पर स्वभाव और ही इज डूइंग सम रॉन्ग एक्टिविटी so you have no right to criticize her or him because you yourself are in bonded condition you have no right to find fault with because if you like to find fault then all his bad qualities can come in you you don't understand bonded soul when going to insult somebody he has to concentrate about whom he like to speak some good or bad then that picture will be then in her heart is the bonded soul and everybody in this material world they are in the ocean of material qualities gunamay sagar this is called the ocean of you know ocean of three modes of nature nobody free out of it nobody can say i am free nobody can say only pure guru krishna their heart is melting for bonded soul always they like to give everything for bhagwan they like to deliver them they have their right that's why in upadeshamrita i am discussing one one shlok for long time so many days one one so for long one one word long day 
If you know these analytical things, you can go mad. How nice! So Rupa Goswami Bhad wanted to indicate those who are pure devotees, Goswamis. Pure devotee means Goswamis. Their sense organ, everything, mind under control because they are dedicated fully. No? So Bacho Begam, Manasaha, Krodha Begam, Udarvastha Begam, Etana Begano, Jabisha Heta Dhiraha, Sarvama Pimam Pathivim Sasishat. He is, he is in a position, he has his right, he has his right to control the whole world. Control means they can, you know, they can control them, they can guide them. Because he is Goswami. His speaking power controlled. Controlled means his speech always speaking about Bhagavan. Not speaking in material thing. A pure sadhu, the symptom of a pure sadhu, if you night time, two o'clock, you say, Maharaj, you speak Harikatha. In night time, two o'clock, if you like to hear it, Maharaj, you get up, he, speak, he can start speaking. No preparation. But Harikatha, fine form, up. This is there. So, Rupa Goswami was speaking, Bacho Begam, those who have their controlling over their speech. Bacho Begam, Manasaha, mind, pressure, everybody can confess. Nobody should, nobody should speak lie. You think that everybody has some kind of pressure, some or other kind of body pressure, mental pressure. Pressure means force, going to put you in trouble, I would like to enjoy. It's a must. Either by speech or by ear, I mean tongue, any, always they like to enjoy. Without enjoy in dream, they cannot even imagine how to lead life. Enjoyment is their life and soul. How we can take them out of enjoyment? I can give them enjoyment, but transcendental enjoyment. Material enjoyment I cannot allow. Maybe they can think my, myself as an enemy. Maharaj is merciless. Let them speak. Because one doctor, when going to make operation upon patient, patient becomes very upset. And nowadays there is one different kind of medicine, Anesthesia, but on those previous days there was no chloroform. Fifty years, forty years back there was a use of chloroform, but still before there was no. Everybody can catch the hand and leg of patient forcefully, and doctor going to cut. And now what is the condition of the patient? You can think. Patient can kick the doctor. Though doctor going to give something, going to do something good, but patient can provide a big kick to the doctor. This is the situation. Popat, when he was very small boy, eight years boy maybe, seven eight years boy, one relative catching his hand and going to some place. Walking, not by car, ah, long distance, not long distance. Going to some place by walking, and Popat was very small boy, and that, you know, relative, uh, maybe uncle, who can, I don't know, nothing written, catching the hand of Popat and going to walk down the street. In the meantime, the small boy and the Hearing one dangerous shouting, ah! Who is shouting? A small boy. He is asking, who is shouting? He is asking to the relative. He said, oh, oh, you don't know. It is veterinary hospital. Veterinary hospital, no? Veterinary hospital, don't know? Where animals and birds are getting treatment. It is no ordinary hospital. Where all beasts and birds, they are getting treatment. 
so the relative speaking it is one it is one horse it is one horse shouting horse shouting why horse shout well, uh, maybe maybe doctor going to do some operation really so because that time it was open field most of the places now i am building everything down then the horse shouting and five six men catching the horse forcefully and doctor making operation in his leg but the horse cannot understand that doctor doing my good horse is shouting as if doctor going to kill me then popa the childhood eight eight years say learn something popa learn something but this is the condition of bonded soul if i like to make one operation of your heart to give you a relief but you become angry i am sure about it so nobody like to get appropriate treatment though they come to me i know many people can come to me but they are not speaking that i give you 100% responsibility you make operation or cut whatever you do nobody speaking that's why this kind of disease is deep rooted chronic disease is very it is really impossible to find solution this way bonded soul always like to run fancifully there is no other way and they can find fault with others but popa speaking in bonded condition if you like to fault find with somebody then you will have to concentrate because you are criticizing na the face of that man character everything will come appear in surya hello then you are going to get the association of that fallen soul and maybe you are also fallen but the maybe he is more fallen and all his bad qualities can come and contaminate you follow what he say maybe you are fallen but not so much fallen like the man is very critical man very dirty when you are going to criticize him all his bad qualities and contamination can come and make you fall down so one bonded soul has no right to criticize other because they all are in the ocean of this material world miseries even popa speaking you have no right to praise somebody can say okay well i am i am not criticizing i am going to praise i am going to appreciate that man no still you cannot when you are going to appreciate that man you will have to concentrate about that man he is not pure you are going to appreciate that man but still it is doing it because in course of your appreciating all bad qualities maybe he has can contaminate you so bonded soul always going to in invite some problem in their life big problem so popa speaking par swabhav karmani no prashansa no kare no one try to appreciate them or criticize them nothing because for bonded soul par swabhav karmani no prashansa no kare विश्व में एक आत्मगन पश्चन प्रकृति पुरुष है न छो दिस वर्ल्ड दिस दिस फूल यूनिवर्स इज मेड ऑप ऑफ प्रकृति नेचर एंड पुरुष आई मीन बोथ पुरुष वन इज स्टेइंग इन साइड योर हार्ट यू हैव टू पुरुष इन साइड योर हार्ट यू डोंट नो वन इज परमात्मा सुपर सो ही इज ऑल्सो पुरुष because he is almighty he is purush but another purush there is jivatma jivatma we speak purush because he is also false ego i have done i can do something purush mean purushakar as a power he is going to express power that's why two kind of purush there already inside your heart but you cannot discover you don't know from from birth up to now you never stopped thinking about this there is two purusha 
One is Paramatma, and one is Jivatma. Paramatma only want to watch. Going to keep, Paramatma going to keep a close watch on your activities. Paramatma going to keep a close watch on all your activities. If you are doing some wrong thing, dirty thing, inside room, lock the room, everywhere, nobody can see. So still Paramatma can know. You cannot, there is no way out. Bhagavan is sitting, na? Like computer, when you are doing some job, in between you will have to press the button of save, save button, you know, save button, doing tuck, doing tuck. If save is not there, if someone won't. So your activities, all your character, all your behavior, all your doings, already saved inside, like computer. You can speak lie, you can speak truth, that's up to you. But all record it. And according to that, you are going to get result next week. Popa speaking, this nature, prakriti, and all your body also. It is also prakriti. Only pure devotee is your body is sun cylinder. Your body is also nature. You don't know. It is made up of all elements. All different elements in chemistry, all there to certain percentage, all, everything, everything there. So this body is also nature. Only your Atma, due to Maya, going to consider this, that this body is my body. This building is my building. This is the magic spell of Maya. You are bound to think, you are bound to think that building is my building. This body is my body. You can feel insulted if somebody is going to speak rubbish this way. It is a magic spell. Whereas, whereas there is no link, whereas there is no link of your pure Atma, if you can discover your pure Atma inside, with that Atma, this nature, the natural phenomena, nothing has, no thing, no connection. This Prakriti, this man, woman, no, no connection. But still is going to make relationship, connection, everything. It is an arrangement of Maya. And one point is sure, is countless Atma. Countless Atma. Some Atma entering into your body. You feel you are from Brazil. Some Atma entering into some another body. He is speaking, I am from America. This Countless Atma. This way, all Atma entering this body and you are going to express your false ego. It's natural. Because due to nature. But one point sure, if there is no Atma, if there is no Atma in this, in, in this world, no Atma, if you withdraw all, if you like to withdraw all Atma from this world, then nature alone cannot do anything. You don't understand what he means. Nature alone cannot do. Nature, nature seems to be active. Nature seems to be active due to Atma. Nature seems to be active because nature is nature. Nature is nature. Mahaprabhu is going to give example when your body, this is nature. When Atma entering and Paramatma already sitting, already coming. Because Atma and Paramatma to blue zoom frame. When Atma going, Paramatma must go. So if Atma is not there inside your body, this body you can throw into Ganga. And you can go to crematory and going to burn it. Because useless, no? In nature. So one point very sure, Atma when entering into our nature, like tree, beast, uh, human being, when Atma entering, then they are showing some activities and some feeling. 
of good and bad, hot and cold, who, who feeling? This hot and cold, good or bad, who feeling? Who feeling? This is body, nature. Actually, feeling, feeling coming because your Atma is there. Because this matter, na? Sensitivity, sensitivity in our body, sensitivity in our body is there because Atma is there. It's Chetan Vastu, who don't understand. If there is no Chetan Vastu, who can feel it is good or bad, uh, you know, hot and cold, who feel? Body can feel? No. Atma is there. He is, due to that, you are feeling hot and cold. Atma is not there, then whole body is there. You cannot feel hot and cold and uh, nothing. So the magic spell is there. Atma entering everywhere. All trees and planets, every beast. And the world, magic. Tiger playing, elephant playing, trees going to give fruits, man going to Ganga, to Hiva, all different kind of activities. Because Atma is going to guide you. But you have no information about it. That's why Prabhupada speaking, this nature, this nature and all countless Atmas, they are together, I cannot say joint venture, because joint venture if I see, then I will have to say, nature have life, but nature is lifeless, nature is inert, but still Atma is there, so it seems that everybody acting, all activities. All activities. Because Atma is there. Atma is not there, then. Mahaprabhu giving one example. Mahaprabhu speaking, well, you can see one iron bar. This iron bar. Iron bar is black. Iron bar or on a streak is black. And cold, not hot. It's cold, natural. But if you are going to put this iron bar into fire, for a long time, the nature, the nature of this iron seems to be changed. It can take a reddish color, reddish color, no? not blackness gone. Oh, oh, blackness gone, no? iron is black, but blackness gone because the property of Atma, because the property of Atma, a property of fire entering. Property of fire entering. This iron bar has nothing to do, is inert. And fire is also, we see, bhumi, rapa, analo. Analo means fire, also nature. But be careful, Bhakti Minato speaking, fire has some special characteristics. Huh? Has some special characteristics. I can come to this point after. Mind is also chita vas. Mind is matter. Mind is matter, okay, at present. When you become pure devotee, the mind is transcendental. Mind is matter, but Bhakti Mantra was speaking, mind is chida vas. Like nama vas, you know? Like chida vas. Ah. So, Mahaprabhu speaking, when one iron bar I am going to put inside fire for a long time, all the qualities, properties of fire can enter into the iron bar. Now the iron bar is going to change the color. Now it is red in color. And at the same time, it is not uh, in normal condition, it is cold. Now it can burn you. Iron cannot burn anything. Iron can never burn anything, but if iron is there in fire, the, all the qualities of fire can enter. Now the iron bar can, can, you know, you know, burn anything. Mahaprabhu giving the example. Similarly, your body can be compared with this inert iron bar. And that Atma, you are in contact with Atma. Try to understand this example very nicely. Atma is going to enter your body. Someday I can discuss about uh, some special 
uh, Bhagavad uh, you know, chapter. I can show you, very nice. So in contact with that Atma, so in contact with the Atma, this body, just like the iron bar, iron bar is iron bar, but due to fire, iron bar now have the power to show you some light, some color already changed, reddish color, also can burn, all different qualities entirely. So the, so the quality of Atma, so the quality of Atma going to manifest inside your body through your sense organ. Try to understand. Quality of your Atma going to manifest inside your body and you can see all the qualities through your sense organ. By speech, we can say he is speaking something. Because Atma, according to his previous, previous life, in his previous life, some sanskar already there. That Atma at present inside your body, surely that Atma was there somewhere else before. And that time, that life, he developed some sanskar. According to that sanskar, your Atma is not now pure because you are in bonded condition. So according to previous sanskar of your life, now you can become cruel or become merciful or become very, you know, this way. So those qualities, sanskar, according to sanskar, can manifest inside your body and through your sense organ, you can go on doing activities according to your previous sanskar. But the day your atma, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, can become free, try to understand. When someday, by the mercy of pure Guru Vaishnava, if your atma, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava and your bhajan, whole contamination gone. Now you can discover your Atma to be most pure Chid Atma. Pure Chid Atma. In that case, no problem. In that case, Bhakti Muta was speaking, you can realize everything. Because no, no Maya there. No Maya there. So that Atma is pure Atma. So to unveil the mystery of this secrecy, we'll have to do bhajan. We are doing bhajan. Many people can deserve that we are educated, we are learned, but their learning has got no meaning. So long as, so long as they are not going to realize that my Atma is eternal servant of Krishna, so long, cannot realize. So long his Atma going to follow the order of Prakriti, nature. So long he is guided by Maya. Maybe he has education, what use he cannot. Maybe he has education, so what is it? So this way, what I mean to say, the all Jivatma traveling life after life. They are doing parikram. They are doing parikram. Every life after life. Infinity life. They are parikram. Sankaracharya just speaking. Life after life, Jivatma, they are doing parikram. Sometimes entering the womb of mother. Sometimes take birth, again die, again take birth. Sankaracharya just speaking nicely. <laughs> punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam, punarapi matri jathare svayanam. Punarapi jananam, again you are going to take bath, again going to die, again going to this kind of. So if you are really intelligent, so if you are really intelligent, why not you do go Vrindavandam uh, parikam, Navadivdam parikam, to stop this cycle? The utility of parikram is bhakti, okay, fine now. But basically I can cut all my bondage. By doing parikram under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnava, because parikram is the only mode of bhajan by the help of which you can give, give a treatment to all sense organs. Parikram is such a bhakti mode. 
by the help of which you can engage all your sense organs at a time. But you can bear or not, I don't know. If you can tolerate, you can be a sufferer. Okay, nice, then okay. But most of the people cannot be here. I can come to the point. Now, you are speaking, educated people. I can give example, one example from Baranasi. One professor of Vedanta. He was a professor of Vedanta. He can give lecture on Vedanta, very nice. He is go I've been there, BHU, Benaras Hindu University. I went there for some purpose. From university is a big area, big area. So those are student and professor, they will have to buy car, I mean cycle, cycle, they will have to come, motorcycle, they will have to come, long distance. So the professor, his house is just near to that uh, university, not long distance, maybe half an hour or 20 minutes. So every noon time, he is going to home and take chapati, I mean, noontime lunch and after coming back. He is a big professor of Vedanta. One day, professor come back from university and going to wash hand and sit for prasadam. And wife, wife going to serve. Wife going to serve. Wife serving. All sabji, chapati, everything, everything. But the man, I mean the professor, going to going to take chapati and sabji and mouth. He become very angry. He is going to throw because he is shouting, no salt in sabji, how I can take? Become very angry. He is professor, he should not be so angry. Why seeking, maybe I have some done some mistake. I beg for apology. I can, uh, I can add salt in. Ah, if you give ex separate salt, how it can become tasty? Eh? How I can take chapati? Usually, you're going to throw. You became angry, so angry. Then the woman, I mean the wife, is not so educated. Wife, for the for some time, going to stop for some time. I'm going to see the character of his husband. Now she started now she started speaking that I know you are the professor of Vedanta. I know so long I know you are the professor of Vedanta. So ma you must getting the taste of Vedanta. But you are searching taste in chapati and sabji. Come on. You want to search taste in chapati and sabji. You are not getting taste in Brahma. Whereas you are the big professor of, professor of Vedanta. Husband becomes, after hearing this, forever his character was changed. He never expected this. He never expected this kind of answer, lesson from wife. He couldn't expect. There is a condition of our life. Especially those who are making rules and regulation in temple, going to control. Especially for them, our Keshav Goshima used to say, lawmaker, they are the lawbreaker. They are going to make law, rules and regulation, but they are not going to follow. Who can follow them? Lawmaker, they are the lawbreaker. This is the condition. So our, our Mahaprabhu never wanted to teach this. All the teachings of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami is the same in total. In total, like Mahaprabhu. If Mahaprabhu is not present, if Prabhupada is present, we can get the total, complete thing. But you cannot believe. So you like to make your rules and regulations, Siddhanta change, you like to preach in your own way to establish yourself, this is your character. Very sad, very painful situation. Siman Mahaprabhu going to teach us all the way I am speaking you, right from the beginning. Yesterday I told Mahaprabhu now want to do Parikram. For some time he was there in Akrurga. Already done Mathura here, there. 
by paying Dhanavat to Bhuteshwar, Mahaprabhu started Parikram. I told you that in course of Parikram, first I can come to this point of my own Parikram. At Mahaprabhu reaching first Madhuban, Meholi Madhuban, after that, you know, from there Talban, Talban, Kumudban, Kamadban, Bahulaban, or in chain I can come. But now Mahaprabhu is going to reach uh, Arit Gaon. The village, the village name Arit. Arit means where Radha Kun and Sampu. The name of the village is Arit, Arit Gaon. Be why? Because Arista Sur was killed. Ar Arista Sur was killed. There. That's why the name of the village is. Arit Gaon. Actually, Aristasur killed. So, very soon we are going to meet with one, one Tithi, auspicious Tithi, the appearance of Radha Kun. Radha Kun is certainly present, but the day Radha, uh, you know, Radha Kun appeared, and that is uh, that day I can discuss all in details. So, what I mean to say, Mahaprabhu is going to ask some village man. Can you speak? Where is Radha Kun and Sam Kun? Well, we don't know. We don't know. Mahapu asking to so many people. You know Radha Kun and Sam Kun? They don't know. Then Mahaprabhu himself going to one uh, cultivation land and paddy field, going to take some water and uh, going to do stava. Stava, you know, glorification of Radha Kun and taking water on head. After that, Mahapu going to some adjacent field. There, Mahapu also going to get uh, water and taking bath and glorifying as Shamkund. So all common people there watching, uh, glorifying this as Radha Kund as Shamkund. Oh, so must be it's Radha Kund. Maybe disappear, who knows? Because in Shastra, because all scripture it is there. All in scripture it is there. So, maybe it disappeared due to, in course of time. So, he is, uh, he, he looks like Krishna. He, he, he looks like Krishna. Ma, he must be Krishna. It's just like Krishna. His appearance, uh, talking, well, all. Oh. Then, the news spread everywhere. everywhere. And, uh, it is not a big gapping. Because Raghunath went there, Raghunath Das Gosai went there. And by the desire, by the desire of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Raghunath Das Gosai took the responsibility for the reformation of reformation I should not say, but I will have to speak of the two kunda. Because very rich man, one or two came to help, and this kunda was met. Very good. From then onward, we are going to Understand that this is Radha Kun Sampu. Before that, there was no, it was disappeared. So, anyway, this way Radha Kun Sampundo, we have the privilege to take, uh, to do parikram, to do touch the water, because Samkund means Samsundar himself, Radha Kun means Radha Rani herself. It is written in Shastra. Radha Kund means Radharani herself present. It is written. So, you will have to take water. You can do Achaman, do Tilak, all facilities. So, our Guru Varga, our Pahupad, Bhakti Thakur, they are going to teach us that Radha Kund is equal to Radharani. So we have no right to touch our leg into Radha Kund to take bath. Our material body, what again? Radha Kund, so we have no right. But there is a rules that there is a scriptural evidence. If somebody is going to take bath in Radha Kund, he can get big benefit. Radha Kipa, Radha Rani. So what to do? To balance, Popad used to take water and take bath separately. Not going to touch leg into Kundal. 
very careful. This way, our Prabhupada and Guru Varga are going to teach us what they learn. The eternal person. So now Mahaprabhu took decision to do parikram of Giriraj Maharaj. Giriraj Maharaj, that time I think at present we are doing 24 kilometers. But that time I think a little bit higher. I think so. Because Giriraj Maharaj day by day going down, na? Day by day Giriraj Maharaj going down. So from today onward, I mean within 500 years or 600 years, we cannot find Giriraj Maharaj. Giriraj Maharaj can go down. Because, because the most of the portion of Giriraj Maharaj already gone down. You don't understand. When this kind of structure, when this kind of structure going down gradually, then the length and breadth also coming down. Don't understand. This kind of thing, suppose this kind. If, if this kind of thing going down, so automatically this is, this kind of, previously it was, so when this kind of thing, I mean, Gira is going down, so naturally length and breadth also going down, and height also going down. Simple calculation, mathematics. Very simple mathematics, you know. If this kind of thing going down, so naturally length, breadth, and uh, everything can, it's quite natural. So now we are present, we find Giriraj Maharaj is 25 kilometers. But previously it was not that. It is written. Giriraj Maharaj's height was so long that even the shadow of Giriraj Maharaj, when sun going to sun going to set, sunset, sunset that side, eh? western direction, East direction is Bhuteshwar, I mean this direction, that direction, western direction. So when sun going to set, the shadow, it is written, document I have, it is written that the shadow of Giriraj Maharaj up to Bhuteshwar. So, oh my God, Bhuteshwar is 20, 22 kilometers away, Bhuteshwar, or more. The shadow of Giriraj Maharaj uh, used to go up to Bhuteshwar. So high. But now, Giriraj Maharaj going down, I already told, by the curse of, it is the arrangement of Bhagavan. Giriraj Maharaj going down by the curse of Pulastamani. Follow. Going down. So, after 500 years, it is written, we cannot find Ganga, we cannot find Jamuna, we cannot find Saraswati, we cannot find Giriraj Maharaj. You are so lucky, now you can take bath. After 500 years or 600 years, all going to stop. Because full of sinful activities, full of sinful activities, the whole world is covered up with sinful activities. So gradually they are going to disappear. So Gorang Mahapu want to very much interested to do parikram naturally because Madhavendra Puripad you know. Madhavendra Puripad done parikram na? So Madhavendra Puripad is the Madhavendra Puripad is the main pillar of Gauriya Mat, Gauriya devotees. Papa speaking, Madhavendra Puripad is the foundation of Gauriya Bhajan. Madhavandha Puribad, Aprakita. He is doing Giriraj Parikram. I like to speak. I like to touch this point. So that you can realize who is Madhavandha Puribad, who is uh, uh, Giriraj Maharaj, who is, you know, Sinaji Maharaj. You can realize at least. Without realizing what you know. So, Madhavandha Puribad, after doing Giriraj Parikram, Going to take you know, take one seat. I mean, and uh, uh, just near Govind Kund. Govind, not asking for food and nothing. Actually, Madhavendra Puri was not going to take any food. If without, 
if without any demand, if without any, you know, demand, if somebody automatically giving some milk, then he is taking. Otherwise, not asking. Madhavandhi Puriva never asking for chapati, sabji, nothing. He is already satisfied because of bhakti devi. Already no thrusty, it is written, Chaitanya Chaitanya. No thrustiness, no hungriness, no sleep, nothing. The body is of prakita. So Madhavandhi Puriva, after doing parikram, when to sit and the almost evening approaching, Almost evening approaching, as so very nicely, sitting under a tree and doing parikram. Very nice. In the meantime, one very nice boy coming and asking, Baba, you are not asking anything? Chapati or sabji, nothing you are asking? So, here is one pot of milk you can drink. Madhavindipa asking, how you know I am fasting? Uh, how I know? Gopal is synergy. Madhavindipa asking, how you know that I am fasting? Oh, how I can know? Actually, the Mataji is there coming to take uh, water from Govinda Kundo. They watch you, you are sitting, uh, not asking any chapati, anything. So they say, my boy, you go and give them, give the Baba, give that Baba one pot of milk. So I bring. So going to give the milk. Mother Bundibar is going to accept and watching the face of the boy. He cannot believe this kind of boy can be there in the world. But he's Krishna, nobody knows. Krishna wants to make a game. Actually, you drink the water, you, give, you drink milk. After some time, I can come and uh, take the pot because I'm busy. Now I will have to milching, milching time now, evening, so I can go away. But Madhavindi Puripa drinking the milk and gone mad. But this kind of milk not available in the world. Is Amrita. Many times we are drinking milk, but this kind of taste were from cow. When Krishna giving milk to you, after drinking milk, washing the pot, and keeping the, keeping the pot for uh, because the boy can come and take the pot, but the boy not coming. Uh, now night approaching night, evening is over. Doing sandaband and everything, Madhavandhi Purva doing Harinam. And in the meantime, is feeling a little bit drowsy, you know, not sleep. And in dream, that boy came and speaking, uh, I. Uh, I came to you to give you milk. Who are you? My name is Sinaji, Krishna. Huh? You Krishna? And Madhavendra Purva become very mad. I came, hear me. I am there inside this forest. Where, where? In dream, in dream. In dream, Gopal catching the hand of Madhavendra and going to show the forest. Here I am. And for a long time, Rain and hot, everything going to uh, give me trouble. So you can uh, get you can get that deity, get out and establish. A, I am waiting. I am waiting for you. It is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, "Kabe Madhav Ashi Mor Kori Be Shivan." I am waiting for a long time that when Madhavindo can come and give me uh, do some seva. It is written, Bhagavan speaking in dream, I am waiting for a long time. I am waiting for you, when you can come to Vrindavan, and now you come. And I like to get seva from you. Then Madhavandiva break his sleep, and in the morning time call all Rajavasis, that this is a dream, let us see. They enter into forest, cutting all woods, and they discover really, and the Sinaji Maharaj is there. Madhavandhi Puripa started crying, going to embrace. They all Brajavasis, big, big, powerful. They all together catching very heavy, very heavy. And to catch Sinaji, because it is the instruction, it is the instruction of Sinaji that you can take me 
on hill top of Giriraj and make one uh, small temple and there you can go on doing seva. By the order of Sinaji, <coughs> Madhavindu Puripada night to carry this, you know, Sinaji up to the top hill there. And there Madhavindu Puripada going to wash because for a long time there's mud and everything, no? dust, everything all. Going to wash, after that doing Abhishek, so many, I am not going into details. So, after Abhishek, Gopal was established there. Established, it is a, a, a self-manifested deity. Gopal is there. From then onward, Gopal was there. Every day, but Madhavendra, you know, due to search of sandalwood by the order of Gopal gone. I saw. Anyway, uh, so now our <coughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, want to take darshan of Gopal. Mahaprabhu now want to take darshan of Gopal up. But Mahaprabhu thinking that Giriraj Maharaj is Krishna. It is the teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Gauranga Mahaprabhu speaking, how I can see, how I can see Sinaji. Because I cannot climb Giriraj. I cannot touch my leg with Giriraj. He is Krishna. Come on. How I can see? Oh my God! He's doing parikam and thinking. Gopal, I cannot see. Oh my God! In the meantime, Mahaprabhu for one or two days thinking about that. In the meantime, Sinaji Maharaj making one game. What is the game? Some people of the village going to inform that Muslim people going to attack. You fly with this deity. Because they are going to break. Somehow, somehow this news break out. Somehow. Like I told that when I was not, uh, I was only young age, I think, maybe. That time one news, one news came in newspaper. One news came in newspaper. What is that? Somebody, out of joking, told that the Kutab Miran, a monument, you know, in Delhi, there is Kutab Minar. You don't know? There is very high tower. You know, foolish that. There is Kutab Minar, high tower. One can buy ticket and climb and go and see the whole Delhi. News came in this paper. One wicked boy, out of his, you know, joking mood, told that Kutab Minar going to break down. <laughs> then you can remember the condition of those people, they are... Kutumi are going to break down, this news uh, break out in a, all old and young, all jumping to come and uh, to save. But it is not actual news, it is false. It came in news that so many people died, out of panic, nothing else. Because of his joking, because of his joking, hundreds of people, they died. Only one boy, joking, that Kutub Mira is going to break down. See the news. This is the condition. So here, by the desire of Bhagavan, this kind of news break out. By the desire of Bhagavan, maybe. So all Brajavasi, they are running and running. Taking Sinaji Maharaj, Gopalji Maharaj ki jai. They are going to take Gopal. From Giriraj up, Giriraj Maharaj and Sinaji Maharaj coming down. And Sinaji Maharaj going to take shelter in Gathuli Gaon, one village. Govardhan, very inside, very inside. Very inside you have to go. The name of the village is Gathuli Gaon. So, Sinaji Maharaj coming down from the hilltop and coming down and according to his own desire, going to take shelter into the house of a devotee, Burjavasis, there in Gathuli Gaon. So if Muslim people coming, they cannot find the deity. Where did he go? Is back in. Now Mahaprabhu dancing. Oh, Gopal coming down from up, going to take shelter in Gathuli. I can go and take darshan very nicely. But it is the arrangement of Mahaprabhu himself. 
Because Mahapu himself is, you know, Sinaji Maharaj, na? Sinaji who? Mahapu himself. For our teachings. It is written in Chaitanya Chaitamitho, those who are exalted devotees, though do never like to climb Griraj Maharaj, but they like to see, take the darshan of Sinaji. Sinaji time to time, Sinaji time to time making this kind of, this kind of leela. Going up, Again, someday, hey, this problem coming, the synergy coming down and going to some place and devotees, they are taking darshan. So Mahaprabhu dancing and singing in front of Giriraji Maharaj, taking darshan and going to teach us that Giriraj Maharaj, actually somebody out of his own fanciful attitude, going to collect some Giriraj and want to worship, it's not good. Because it is in Shastra, one Brajavasi, out of his love, if want to give you one piece, I am a Giriraj stone, then you can receive. Forcefully, if you take, you will have to get punishment. You have no right. It is written in Shastra. Nobody is going to care. Everybody is selling this, there are so many things they are doing. Who is going to care? So this way, Mahaprabhu doing Giriraj Parikram, and taking darshan of taking darshan of Sinaji, taking darshan of Sinaji Maharaj. Now Mapu uh, approaching through different places like uh, from Anur here, they are now fine going finally going to uh, Samdhak, I mean going to Kamban, everywhere, Mahapu travelling. But there is no detailed information about that. No detailed information about that in Chaitanya Charitamrita, but we have some information from different books. Like Bhakti Ratnaka, this, that, not in Bhakti Mato also going to speak all about uh, uh, the traveling of uh, you know, Raga Pandit and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Srinivas Acharya there. So finally Mahaprabhu tra traveling here and there, going to discover so many things. If Mahaprabhu is not there, there is no possibility. There was no possibility. So by the by the Kripa of Mahaprabhu, by the help of Mahaprabhu, now we uh, that's why in uh, in Saragasam is talk. Ah, no, Saragoswami sir. No. In Kirtan we know. Echai Gosai Yabe Braja Koila Bhat Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori Lopoka Mone Ranande Valohari Bhajavinda Bhon Sri Guru Vaishnava Padema Jayamon. It is written in Kirtan. Because by the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the desire, by the order of Mahaprabhu, Rup Sanatan, Raghunath, Jeeva Goswami, Gopal Bhatt, they are going to discover all things. Before that, our, before Saragoswami, before Saragoswami, there was no possibility. Mahaprabhu went, but little bit done. But all responsibility was there on, on Sanatana and Ru. And I already told, by the by, by the by, I like to speak the topics that how you, how I speak that there was 5,008 different kundas. All Brajodham, you know, was there intact. Intact means want to open, heart. Now Brajodham going to gradually close the chapter because we are sinful. I can go back long, long ago. I mean, Daparjuk just over, Daparjuk just over, and Koli start. I can go back long. That time, Pancha Panda, Yudhishthir Maharaj, all they took decision to give the responsibility to Parikshit Maharaj and like to go away. Parikhit Maharaj was given responsibility of that kingdom total. Yudhishthir Maharaj gone. All, everybody gone. 
Before going, they appoint, they appoint Parikshit Maharaj as the king of the country. Follow. And Bajaranabha. Jyushima appoint Bajaranabha. I mean the grand son. Grand son. Bajaranabha was appointed as the king of Mathura. <coughs> Bajranabha was appointed as the king of Mathura. So, Bajranabha is here in Mathura. But in Mathura, when Krishna gone, it seems that nothing there. Because you know the Siddhanta, when Ramchandra left this you know, Ayodhya, with all Jivatma delivered. It is written. Haridas Thakur and Mahaprabhu talkings. It is document. When, Mahap when Ramchandra gone, Ramchandra wanted to take all Jivatma and gone. So when Krishna gone, Krishna wanted to deliver everybody from there, Mathura. Everybody gone there. So now there is, it seems like forest. Now, Bajranabha crying, Bajranabha speaking, I am the king of forest. But nobody there. What I can do? Bajranabha speaking, what I can do? Because it's forest. Nobody there, no arrangement. Then in that case, Parikhit Maharaj took decision. Parikhit Maharaj took decision to send a big amount of population. A sizable, a sizable amount of population was sent there in Mathura with some lucrative offer. You can get land and property, all donation, everything. You go on rehabilitation. It's called rehabilitation. And they are ready, okay? So those who coming from North, North India, here, there, now they identify themselves as Brajavasi. But they are not actually Bhajavasi. They are heretical factor, they demand. Heretical, they demand we are Bhajavasi. Actually, they are not Bhajavasi. They are coming to Mathura and they are going to stay there and accordingly they are staying. But original Bhajavasi are also there. But a very few. A very few. Now, when Padanabho, when our uh, you know, this uh, Bajranabho become very sorry. Then Parikhid Maharaj and all, uh, everybody, they inviting, uh, you know, uh, that Rishi, what is it called? Uh, um, Vashishta uh, Muni. Vashishta Muni called. They are inviting. Then Vashishta Muni coming. Vashishta Muni is where? He is invited. They are praying to Vaishishta Muni, Vaishishta Muni, uh, that you speak out the secrecy of this Bajodha, because it is just like forest. Then he is going to give instruction to Bajaranabha. He is going to give the instruction to Bajaranabha. You will have to discover, you will have to discover all Lila place of Krishna. Because Krishna just won't, maybe, so you will have to travel all Bajadam and you will have to discover all different Lila's, Lila places. It is your duty. Then by the order of Vasishta Muni, Bhajanava took travel with some Brajavasis, with some Brajavasis going to different villages, different villages, forest searching. And he was successful to discover Everything, Radha Kund, Sam Kund, Kiraj Maharaj, oh everything. And Bajanabha wanted to establish some important deities. Like I told you, Sinaji Maharaj. Sinaji Maharaj, I told you, na, the Madhavandha Puriva discovered. It was installed by Bajanabha. In at the bank of Manasi Ganga, there is Haridev Ji. You heard the name Haridev? Nobody knows. Haridev Ji is also established by 
भजन हो बलदेव जी महाराज यू हार्ड बिग बलदेव बिग बलदेव लॉन्ग बलदेव जी महाराज ऑल्सो ऑल्सो इट इज द बॉर्डर ऑफ ब्रजोधाम आई यूज टू गो देयर रिपीटेडली इज टू स्टे देयर ऑल्सो ड्यूरिंग माई परिक्रम तो दैट दैट दाऊजी दैट दे आर ऑल्सो एस्टाब्लिश हरिदेव हरिदेव बलदेव ऑल दोज आर डेट इज एन ऑल एस्टाब्लिश बाय बजरना गो यू वॉन्टेड टू एस्टाब्लिश सेवा पूजा टेम्पल एवरीथिंग पूल टोटल एज इफ एज इफ टोटल रेनोवेशन सर्चिंग पाय टू पाय एवरी स्टेप स्टेप बाय स्टेप ही इज रनिंग एंड सर्चिंग ऑल डिफरेंट Leela places according to Shastra, reading Shastra, and also consulting Brajavasis. So not only Gosami also, so not only they are searching Shastra, also consulting with Brajavasis. So they are going to locate because everything missing, na? Long because five thousand five hundred years back, the upper jug there, Krishna gone, everything gone. So. by the so by the by the effort so by the effort of bajrana bho 5008 uh, 5008 kundas were discovered at all some problem you want to renovate all different kundas all over where 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 what leela happened when how who involved in this leela all he wanted to search from shastra a patience they have patience how oh, at present people have no patience but they feel restless but now there the full patience no food no water only taking fruits and flower from trees who can give because that time brajavasis they are very rare they staying in for you know in remote village this way bajranavo took travel to find out most of the all leela places by the nizar krishna and from then onward brajadam was okay we know brindavan but before mahaprabhu it was also almost vanished if mahaprabhu when mahaprabhu came Mahapu wanted to discover. Then we, by the desire of Goswamis, I mean, desire of Mahapu, Mahapu give instruction to them. Otherwise, who is going to know who is Binda? What is Binda? All almost. This way, Brajadham was again revived. So now we know Brajadham again. Due course of time, Giriraj Maharaj going time, Jamuna going. Jamuna already you see the condition. <coughs> You already see the condition of Jom. This way, all going to disappear from this world. We are helpless. If we can, if we cannot take advantage right now, then next life, next life there is no possible. I think no. If we can take advantage this life, that is good. I think because next life, when I can take birth, where I can take birth, who knows? I can get this kind of facility to come and hear Hari Katha and take bath in Ganga and Gauranga Mahapu place. No surety, because you know about Navadip Dham also. In Navadip Dham, if you can go through the writings of Bhakti Mohan Thakur and all other writing, totally Navadip Dham was you know it's one kind of arrangement of you know Bhagwan. Many times Ganga going to. Ganga going to flood, make a flood and taking everything gone. This place was also under water, where we are sitting. At present, you don't know. You don't know this place was also under water. By chance, just uh, you know, maybe two uh, hundred or two hundred twenty years back, as per the writing of the Vedas, the track of Ganga was that way. So. What is now at present Navadhi? Just here. Now we find at the at that side of river is Navadhi, but this was here. 
It is written in Chaitanya Bhagavad Dev everywhere. It is written. So, time to time, Ganga is going to make a big problem. I mean, going to take on. Here I know, in my lifetime, in my lifetime I know I am, I am witness. This Rudra Deep, you know, Rudra Deep. Rudra, you know, Rudra Deep, you don't know? Are you, Rudra Deep. You don't know, Rudra Deep. They are Rudra Deep. Like Shimanta Deep, Madhya Deep, Rudra Deep, is one deep, one island. There, one temple established by Popa. One is three or four times the temple gone under water. Again, they are going to take deities and new place. Again, they are coming back three or four times. All gone under water. Follow. This way, every time Ganga changing track, this way, every time Ganga changing track, and all devastated. Nobody can understand where is what. You can now at present find the flow of Alakananda there in Hari, Hari Arkhetra. It is the original. It is the original. You go to uh, Navadhi, uh, uh, if you like to go to Sridhar Goswami Maharaj Mat, Panambiya, they can find one track of Ganga. So when Ganga is changing, which way? Who knows? This way all gone under water, and this place where we are standing here at present, maybe uh, 250 years back, again Ganga changing track, and now this surface and place has developed. Uh, it is, we are lucky, we, are ha we can take darshan of the Avirva place of, you know, this Gauranga Mahapu, you know, Jogopitsi Mandir. We have the chance to go to, uh, you know, this uh, Chaitanya Mart there, Sivas Pandit, all located by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Accurate calculation. Maybe the Saujiya can fight with us. They can say, oh, no, there, that side. Even Paramatala was this side of river. Vridya, Sea, Parama, all this side of river. But now, that side of river. Follow, this way, all changing. So, Dham also, Vindavan Dham also. You don't understand. I can, I can start discussing about Madhuban here. It is written in Bhagavatam. Naraji Maharaj asking Dhrubaji Maharaj, you go and take bath in Jamuna. But where is Jamuna? If you at present go to Madhuba, no Jamuna. Where is Jamuna? Maybe 10, 15, 20 kilometers away. But it is written in Bhagavatam. In different Puran. That time, Jamuna had different branches. Different branches. Even near Nandagram, there was also Jamuna. Now Jamuna gone uh, maybe 50, 70 kilometers away. Due to a due, co due course of time. So this way all changing, but eternally you should remember, Vrindavan is not changeable. Eternally Vrindavan is there. But it is one kind of Leela here we see. There is no Jamuna, but there is in, there is in Sastra, near Madhuban, there is Jamuna. Dhruva Maharaj is going to take bath, and Naraji Maharaj giving mantra to him. He is written. But where is Jamuna? So this way, all changing, to make full of us. To make full of us, so that we, uh, can, we cannot believe, we can live, If we have strong faith, then we can realize. So anyway, I can explain tomorrow also. I forget to explain the sloka. I flesh. Which sloka I started with? Who can remember? Jeba Maishe Kito Sauhidartha Jani Shudhi Antaravarti Keshu Gehe Shujayat Majarati Matsu no priti yukta javadartha ascha loke. Tomorrow I can explain this sloka. Vancha kalpadurusya ke pasindu bhavaj, patitanang pavanu bhav, vishnava pyur. Try to utilize your time the best possible way. You cannot get this opportunity anymore. Try to 
Take advantage.